Building with Legos is literally 3D printing by hand. And instead of buying an expensive 3D printer, I decided why not just build a computer case out of Legos? With the added benefit of adding this awesome external GPU. First up we need a platform to build on, so I'd recommend getting one of these platforms as a base. Then we can drop in our power supply and just measure out uh, how much space we need for our motherboard and then drop that in as well. The reason I'm building in this pattern is because of ventilation requirements. Building patterns that actually have holes for ventilation so that we can have a good looking case and also a case with good ventilation. I got this very basic switch from a computer that I salvaged and we can just use one of the Lego parts, drop a bit of glue in there and just stick it in there. Once we've done that we can get another two piece Lego and cut the, one of the top off and just dab a bit of glue on there and just stick it up. We can now grab our USB 3 to PCI times one x adapter and plug it into our PCI Express slot.
with that our hand 3D printed part is done and if I have to say so myself it looks absolutely amazing. Only thing left now to do is to give it a test and just see if our button actually does its job. And of course it boots. But the thing is we want to play some really good games when we're home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an external DIY GPU to this computer. We'll be using a USB 3 riser for the external GPU. And included in this is the power connector and the USB 3 cable and of course the USB 3 PCI times 1 connector. If you guys want me to do a dedicated video on the external GPU, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll be hooking up a GTX 1060 to this computer and let's give it a boot up right now. Once we boot it into Windows 10, we can see that the GTX 1060 is detected by the computer and we are good to go. Firstly, we're going to be doing a Heaven benchmark on the external GPU itself and then we're going to do a benchmark on the GPU plugged into the PCI Express slot directly. We can see that we are averaging about 97 and a half frames per second on the base test for the external GPU. I got really surprised when I saw the benchmark for the GPU plugged straight into the PCI Express slot because it was within margin of error with just about one and a half frames off of the average frames and I was quite puzzled by this until I actually tried benchmarking a game. The game that I benchmarked is Dirt Rally. The first benchmark will be with the GPU plugs straight into the PCI Express slot and we can see we are averaging around 70 frames a second. And next up the test for the external GPU. Immediately we can see we are getting about half the performance uh, that we're, we're getting on the GPU plugged straight into the computer and the reason for this I'm suspecting is that the CPU is sending uh, processes through the graphics card and through the HDMI cable to the monitor and this is where the bottleneck actually comes in. I actually really don't mind this because it gives me the option of portability. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments down below.